and not a whole lot new in here but i do see that so that's coming and that might be it at least a little bit of wire down here let's see that's been stripped dusty yeah it's just a stack of Drywall, dust. Well, looks to be about it. Take a look. Oh, toilet. And that's it. Fairly certain whatever they were doing here is done. That is a uh, fiber wire. I've seen that before, so I'm not going after it. This here is metal on the inside there so take that it does look like a few things yeah somebody's been through here ripped open these packages but uh yeah that's just all fiber wire can't really do anything with that the same that's just hose and this is just plastic so yeah that's it somebody did get somebody commented about the plywood and somebody did grab the plywood in here I just don't have the space to hold that kind of stuff trying to sell it cheap and with odd sizes you're just gonna sell it to somebody doing odd projects but and it was thin, it wasn't real thick stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it for here. So I saw a little bit of metal sticking out of the top here. That might actually be it. Man, what a lot of trash. Yeah, I don't see anything new here. I think other people are starting to hit this one because I haven't seen lights in a few days, but yeah, I'll grab this, I'll grab that, and that'll be it those tennis balls off got all my uh, that didn't work well at all containers from uh, doing a small scale run so that's what that is yeah there's nothing good in here and that's just plastic so all right that's it for here something not a whole lot going on here today that is empty and that's also plastic that's not uh, metal nothing 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 that one is also empty all right Nothing there either. 
All right, so back from the small scale run, and this is, or these are all the containers that I actually had in the back of the cab and also in the truck bed. So all these milk crates were full of ballast. I had more of those than I thought I did. And then I've got a bunch of buckets and then other totes and everything. So now I'm gonna take all this out, put it back in my scrap area, and then we'll go through this line by line. And I'll try to show you pictures of what everything looked like and how full the bucket was or wasn't and give you an idea of what kind of pricing I got on all that. I didn't show all that beforehand because I did this piecemeal loading the truck over probably a couple of hours while I was doing other things. So I didn't have it all spread out like I normally do. All right, so you saw me unload that little bit of shred. It was only 300 pounds and at 7.75 cents a pound, that was $23.25. The other big thing on the large scale was 560 pounds of light ballast. Those came out of all of those lights that I had found in previous videos. So there was about 80 plus of those. Some of them weighed about eight pounds a piece. It was a lot easier to just dump them all in a bin rather than put them on carts and have the small scale guy deal with them. So 20 cents a pound on those versus 7.75 cents a pound. My yard requires that you remove them. So it is worth it in the end, but I know some yards don't require that, but mine does. And 20 cents a pound, which was $112, so not bad. So $135 before I even hit the small scale. Okay, so since the last time I was there, the prices all went up by a few cents, so that's good. So to start off with, Christmas lights, 12 pounds there, 30 cents a pound, 360. Insulated copper wire, number two at 55%, 22 pounds, $1.53 a pound, 33.66. Insulated copper wire, 65%, that's number one. 28 pounds, $1.95 a pound, 54.60. Small motors, electric, 39 pounds, 33 cents a pound, 12.87. I just had a few of those. Ernie aluminum, 23 pounds, 13 cents a pound, 2.99. That is hardly worth separating. Sealed units, 211 pounds, those were AC compressors, 23 cents a pound, 48.53. I think I only had four or five of those. Number one copper, five pounds, 337, 1685. So even just five pounds of number one copper, that's the shiny stuff that isn't tarnished too badly or dirty. Uh, 1685 isn't too bad for separating that stuff out. Yellow brass, 31 pounds, $2.05 a pound, 6355. Insulated copper wire, 65%, 23 pounds, $1.95 a pound, 4485. One of these two number ones, and I'll show a picture when I'm going through these line items, is actually the corrugated copper with a copper strand inside. They let me get number one copper price for that of the wire, and that is why I cut all the plastic off and send that in. Number two copper, 27 pounds, $3.11, $83.97 there. Old cast aluminum. Quite a bit of that. That was a lot of the light fixtures. 112 pounds, 49 cents a pound, 54.88. 304 stainless, 24 pounds of that, 53 pounds, 12.72. Auto batteries, think I had a couple of those, 66 pounds, 22 cents a pound, 14.52. 1010 aluminum, 27 pounds, 66 cents a pound, 17.82. Old sheet aluminum, that's just your typical plate aluminum, corrugated aluminum for electrical wires and things like that. And that was 65 pounds, 42 cents a pound, 27.30. Irony aluminum, 31 pounds, 13 cents a pound, $4.03. That one there, I believe, is was some kind of corrugated aluminum that had plastic coating over it and because it was aluminum I didn't bother with it so I just turned in a basket full of that ended up being 31 pounds I didn't have to do anything to it but blood out of the dumpster so 13 cents a pound 403 if I would have cut off the plastic I might have got a bit more but that would have been a huge pain insulated copper wire 55 percent number two 53 pounds of that 153 a pound 8109 and then the last couple of items, a little bit more old sheet aluminum, four pounds, 42 cents a pound, $1.68. And then a big one here is aluminum copper radiators, 84 pounds. I clean off the copper ends and then take off the steel plate from each end of the AC radiator. And that way I get a clean radiator price. So that was $1.62 a pound for that, $136 for doing that. And that was, I don't know, uh, like three or four large ones and a couple of small ones. So definitely worthwhile to do that. And then I can turn the copper in as number two. 
So grand total ended up being $715.59. You add that to the ballast and the shred of $135, and I've got $850. So not too bad for a small scale run mostly. And it is a lot of work to break it down this much, but I mostly enjoy it. So it's worth my time, in my opinion, and some more cash in my pocket. So anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave your comments below, and I'll talk to you later.